what is up everybody welcome back to another daniela dk episode you know what i'm saying i know i look hella crazy right now but that's the point of this video you're about to get a freaking review okay my face is already beat so let's get started so for today i am going to be reviewing the jeffree star bloodless palette and let me tell you i already opened it and it is extra AF. I'm about to show you right now. Okay, first of all, what the hell? Like that, I can't wait, Jeffrey. Girl, it even has purple bubble wrap. How crazy is that? He's so extra. The moment you guys have been waiting for. The Bloodlust Palette. Oh my gosh. So a little backstory behind how I got this palette was I was at work, okay? And the launch was about to release. And I just knew that this palette was going to sell out. So I was there at work. Like, it took so long. Like, I was in the waiting list for 20 minutes. And I was just, like, getting so impatient. I'm like, what if I don't get this palette? I'm about to pay $73 plus shipping. And it better not crash. You know what I'm saying? So it ended up working out. Thank the Lord. But let me just tell you, $73 is hella expensive. Which, okay, it's Jeffrey. I understand. I mean, you get what you pay for, right? So... I was like, okay. So then I'm like, wait, Morphe is also launching his palette on their website, right? Girl, I spent like, what, an extra $20, $25? I was like, bruh, it's whatever. I mean, you get what you pay for, right? So here it is. I'm about to show you the Bloodlust Artistry Palette. Wow, that is just insane. Let me tell you that I don't own any of Jeffree Star's other palettes. Like, this is the first one. So, it's a hexagon and it's very royal, okay? It's very high quality. Oh my god, it just feels freaking amazing. It's velvet, purple. Wow, and then it has a little block right here. I'm about to open it. What the heck? How do you open this? I don't want to break it! How do you open it for real though? Oh, okay, okay. So it like flips up like that. Wow. That is insane. The little toilet paper. Oh my god, sorry. So it comes with this plastic thingy like every other palette. It's hella thick. Why does it look like somebody touched my palette already? For real though. This one has like little black specks in there. Well, whatever. So I had asked you guys on my social media platforms about any eye looks that y'all wanted to see. But to your, nobody replied, just my cousin, Fernanda. Shout out to you. She wants a smoky purple eye look. So that's what I'm about to create. I'm speechless right now. I've never had a palette like this. I'm very happy with my purchase. I'm going to be using Deviant right here. So it is the light purple. Deviant, sorry. Deviant, that's how you say it. And I'm going to grab my Morphe M518 right here. Sorry, it's still blue. I need to stop being a cochina and freaking wash my brushes, all right? Don't judge me. Don't come at me either. <laughs> With Deviant. Devion, this girl. Do you even know how to talk? I'm going to show you how I blend. First of all, let's put these in. I got these at Ross for like five bucks. And it came in a pack of four. Let's get started. I don't know how many times I said that, but let's get started. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet rude you know what's freaky that thing has been going off by itself i haven't even said the word the other night i was in the couch right and then ricky was listening to music all of a sudden that thing went off and it's like in the restroom right and i'm like and the door was closed too so i was like hell no a lot of freaky stuff has been happening in my apartment I don't know why it's just creeping me out but anyways so with deviant i'm gonna go ahead and do like windshield wiper motions you want to start with the light color because you are gonna blend the darker colors 
So, just like that. You also want to do it right here in your brow bone. Just so you can get that smoky effect, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I ordered a ring light, and it's getting here on Monday. There's going to be a new setup, so keep on the lookout for that. Now that you did that, you do want to go with the darker color. I'm going to go in with Vivid Moon. How y'all been during this quarantine? Because I've been going freaking crazy. My life before quarantine was hella fast paced. Like if I wasn't at school, I was at work. And if I wasn't at work, I was volunteering at the community center here. And if I wasn't doing that, I was either studying, doing homework. Like it was so crazy. I needed a break and I feel like I'm all rested now. I'm ready to go shopping. I'm ready to go out again. I'm ready to go eat. I'm ready to go to the movies. I'm ready to do everything, okay? So that looks about done. Now, since we are gonna go with a purple smoky eye, I am next going to add a darker, darker shade right here. So next, I'm gonna go in with Blood Queen right here. The colors, honestly, are blending really nicely i'm really liking how this is turning out i've never had um purple eyeshadow before like on my eyelids i don't think i have i've done so many looks then you want to go in with the darkest darkest shadow that you have and in this case it's gonna be executioner right here that is so beautiful let's see how that looks on the eyelid and for that i'm gonna be using the morphe m512 i'm gonna go ahead and pack it on right here oh my gosh it's a lot okay i need to chill <gasps> wait it's a lot chill girl chill I'm always scared using black shadows because, girl, you can mess that up real quick. Okay, I'm about to blend it out with the M518. I'm going to be blending it out with Vivid Blood, the second shade we used. This is the M513, and I'm going to get the lightest, lightest purple shade that I used, Deviant. Oh my god, I just freaked myself out. I looked at the mirror, and I was like, who the hell is that? But it's me. And I'm going to blend up at the top right here. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. I'm going to be using the M124, just a little flat brush like that. So you're going to start in the inner corner. I'm going to stop halfway. So now that I cut the crease, I'm going to go ahead and get a really glittery eyeshadow and put it on my crease. And I'm going to go in with Beauty Sleep right here. Oh my gosh. It really goes on the brush well. Like, there's a lot of product in the brush. That is insane. You don't need setting spray for the product to go on the brush. So I'm going to just pack it on. So I'm going to go with Pink Magic right here. Yeah, you do not need any setting spray. It looks beautiful just like that. Wow, that is crazy. So now that I've finished with my eyelid, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom of my eye. So I'm going to go ahead and go with like another little flat brush just like that. This is from Bare Minerals, but it doesn't have like a... Um, like a number or anything. Any flat brush like this will work, honestly. I'm gonna go 
in with Deviant. And then I'm gonna go in with Vivid Moon. So I'm going in the order that I started my eyelid. Then I'm gonna go in with Blood Queen. From there, you're going to go in with Executioner. Hold on, I did not see this one. Take the crown. I want to add that on top of Pink Magic. Hi! Hello again. That is really pretty. Can you see? I know I can't hear you, but can you see? Ew, I'm very happy how this is turning out. It's really pretty. So what I like to do is I like to add a little pop in the inner corner. So what I'm going to use is the Stila, the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eye Shadow. After that, I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes. I'm using the mascara by Apple. So I'm going to go with e.l.f. the black eyeliner. So then what I'm going to do is go in with the black shade executioner. So now that that is completed i'm gonna go pop on some eyelashes and do the other eye and then i'll be right back so this is a completed look you got your purple smoky eyeshadow i am so obsessed on how this look came out so my final thoughts on this palette is girl it's hella worth it you got all your purple shades, you got a little pop of red, you got your blue. It's so different. Like Jeffree Star always comes out with bomb ass products and for this to be my first palette that I own is just freaking amazing. I would recommend getting it on the Morphe website just to save, you know, a couple dollars. So yes, it is Daniela DK approved. If any of you have any suggestions of eye looks to recreate, please let me know. I would love to do that. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to this channel and hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you on my next video.